still working our way through this mountain section and uh, very tricky winding roads the difficulty has increased substantially from the first couple of races which are more sort of freeway based no doubt there'll be more of those freeway based races to come in the coming uh, in the coming adventures this is like a normal difficulty but i'm still uh, surprised actually at the difficulty that they've gotten off of here i'll be interesting to see what it's like on the harder difficulties i'm not hanging around but Again, I'd have to see if it's actually easier to play with the control pad because playing Need for Speed Hot Pursuit with the control pad for me was a lot easier than it was with the, uh, the wheel. So I much, much prefer driving these games with the wheel. I can see though this, this is better with the wheel than that, and it's a little bit better. So around this tricky section. On the slower sections in particular, you don't feel like you're gaining on them. You really do feel like you're gaining during the faster sort of NOS sections. When you apply your NOS, it's like they're standing still. How you gain NOS as well develops as you go through the game. So obviously, you know, going the wrong way you know, will increase your NOS, but only after the first few races. So you increase your powers as you go through the game, I suppose with experience points and everything else high speed section here notice the shortcut off to the side there I was aware of it but I thought to myself no um, my car uh, is no good on the dirt basically it can't take a corner at that high speed it'll have to slow right down as it happens I went wide anyway but didn't cost me too much and still gave me a good run on this section so as I figured it worked out in the end tricky section here oncoming traffic but, uh, whoa, a little bit wide around the apex and finishing that stage comfortably so that's not too bad earning a trophy there as well onto the next section then the mountain section it just included this little car bashing action as if it was a key rival and uh, that spins you out on the top of the mountain so now you're you're not happy now it's time to close in on these guys and take them out now again this takes us back to the whole handbrake section the handbrake doesn't work for me at all it, uh, when i handbrake it just oversteers and spins me out basically so i found it much easier to just go down a couple of gears uh use the power to get the control the power control essentially to get the back end out and then simply control your exit just make sure you slow in sort of slow entry but uh, gives you a much more progressive exit on the power. And here, you know, places like this, you need to use a NOS and brake a lot earlier than you expect. A lot earlier. It's not, you know, it's not as arcade as such where you can brake actually once you're at the corner. You do need to brake a bit before it to slow yourself down. A little bit of patience here. My car understeers. Terrible. So slow and I just can't get the car in. It is not good at these sections. So good fun, this, this section was not fun in this car, it was a little bit infuriating. I turn in and it decides to turn in a second or so later, not good for hairpins. Eventually I start turning in earlier to hit those apexes a little bit closer, earlier than I would like in fact, you know, pretty much I'm turning in and expecting the understeer. That's it. So I could get on the power early and get you a bit more body language of the car. I did try another run on this while I was just spinning the wheel around and stuff, but it was actually more sort of fun to watch, but at the same time it was uh, there was more room for error with it as well, so I just decided to take a safe run. Those on this guy, there isn't much time to muck about. Almost off the edge there. It's a little bit risky. It's worked out for me. And so now I'm through. I'm thinking, right, I really want to close now on the leader. He's quite some way down the road. And, uh, oh, the car just came at the back end, just stepped out a little bit more than I was expecting there. It is a much more slippery section of track. And uh, now it's time to get some speed, bit of NOS. Don't know the road all that well, so I'm uh, not entirely certain how fast I can go on some of these sections. In practice, you could go so much quicker, it has to be said. Another here for you. Oh man, the car just wouldn't turn in with it. It's so slow, it's excruciating in those sections. Oh, 
and that's it. I thought to myself, that's over now. The car, uh, the car just stepped out way too much there on that corner. It was a lot tighter. I had to go down to first gear and the car span out. But I'll try and hold on to it. Keep it together this first place. Oh, I'm trying to carry too much speed. Music going there, giving you that, that bit of atmosphere. And again, I just wouldn't turn in. It's always a struggle. If I learned the section though and did it a few more times, obviously it wouldn't be too difficult. You could uh, learn some of the braking points and stuff and get a bit more consistent. But this game is always a journey of discovery because it's always a new section. A bit close to the edge than I would like, but keeping it going. Now I find myself on the wrong side of the road here for this turn in. So I'm trying to cut in as close as I can and nearly disaster. Around the last couple of corners and that's another video for Need for Speed to Run. More to come.